look at this target visual um, and insert target visual here, right? Uh, that helps me think about reliability and validity in what I'm teaching it, right? To be reliable and not valid, imagine hitting a bunch of arrows, hitting the target in one corner, right? So everybody's hitting the target, but not the center, right? It's not, you're not, your aim is not true, but you're all similarly hitting the same part of the target. And then to be valid but not reliable is you're sort of scattershot all over the target, so you're hitting the target, but you're not all hitting it in the same way. Uh, to be neither reliable nor valid is sort of like hitting half the target, right? So you're not necessarily, you're hitting the target or maybe you're not hitting the target some, uh, but you're all doing it in the same way, but you're not hitting the center. So what you want is for everybody to aim for the center of the target, everybody to hit that. And so that is a process. And so that's why I always recommend that you report not just the number that you achieved, right? Um, whether that number is percent agreement, whether that number is the capital coefficient, and there are also schools of thought within qualitative research that think that you shouldn't be measuring agreement in qualitative research using a number, that it's antithetical. Um, and that's, that's a completely valid point of view. So whether you report a number or not, you need to at least explain to the people reading what you have written how you arrived um, at such a place where you, as a team, jointly understood what you were coding for. If something is reliable, so going back to the concern example, then you are all understanding concern the same way. Whether that concern, that definition of concern is valid, in other words, truly reflects what concern is as a separate issue, right? So to code reliably is for everybody to code similarly, but you also want to code accurately or in a valid way to capture the concepts of interest. So the idea is not necessarily to remove bias um, because uh, so I have a whole soapbox about this. All research is subjective, right? That's a common critique of qualitative research is that it is subjective. Um, and, and I would argue that all research is subjective. But leaving that aside for a moment, the idea is that people are coding similarly. And I think agreement is really the key term here, that uh, people are agreeing on how to code. Let me rephrase that. People are agreeing on what to code. So if you're reading an interview, you see and you read a paragraph, you see that concept in the paragraph, all of you. Um, and also how much to code. So how broadly or narrowly to code. Um, so if you see a concept in a paragraph, a theme that you're interested in, do you code the whole paragraph? Do you code just the sentence? I typically recommend against coding just the one word. I always recommend coding for at least a complete idea. Um, but the goal is for you to have a shared understanding, that agreement on how you're coding so that your coding means something, so that you have something to report on at the end of this process.